Now today's video, I am going to share with you some of the natural ingredients used in perfumery or other oils. Uh, most of them, they don't use it. Nobody knows how this actually smells like and this is uh, the musk grains, the actual musk grains or we call it mushk in our uh, region, mushk. And these are actually Kashmiri musk grains and uh, I bought one gram from one of my friend, dear friend Rai Mani Sahib. Uh, okay, so a lot of people, they don't know how musk grains smell like. They don't know. And they never try to sniff it if you actually sniff them. They are the most fragrant thing in the world. So it is kind of damp uh, smell which is if they are if they are wet they are the best smelling thing in this whole world you cannot describe the scent of a musk grain into your words so i am going to uh, uh, give you some uh, a little bit of scent okay so a lot of people when you watch the videos or even in perfumery, they have created the image of uh, uh, musk, musk, musk or musk that it is very animalic. It, it is not animalic at all, maybe 5%. 95% of its scent is the most beautiful, uplifting, calming kind of the beautiful smell. It is not related to any flowers. It is not related to any oud oil or woodiness in it. It has a very round kind of aroma that has, uh, you can say, the best. If you if you imagine that there is a scent that is mesmerizing, and you are uh, you are going to you know um, get into a trance, then this is the scent of these grains. Most of the people when they first smell these, they are going to get the smell of a urinal kind of uh, ammonia kind of thing in it but the the perfect way to smell oud and if you want to sniff these grains directly you have to take a very long breath and if you put them into um, into rose oil if you put this into rose oil, I think the first time uh, when I sniffed the Mishk rose with Siberian musk um, grains, I started laughing. I started laughing because this is the first time I actually sniffed a wet, um, wet you can say wet musk grains uh, that were in uh, the, that were wet from rose oil. So. I think this is unbelievable. Dry grains, they are not going to smell that fragrant, but once you put them into sandalwood oil or rose oil, I think rose and the combo of rose and this one is really, really great. Try to just um, uh, add half the value of this one, I think. Uh, rose is very strong, so this, this should be a bit more quantity added to the rose oil. So this is all about how musk grains actually smells like. Okay, so if someone tells you that they are very animalic, they are they smell like dirty animal or something like that, that is not true. The true smell is really mesmerizing. Uh, it is like somebody has hypnotized you. It is that kind of smell. Okay, so if I may say that it has um, not a single smell, but it has an accord of two or three uh, scent profiles. So it has two or three scent profiles. I'm going to show you the actual grains. I haven't shown, shown you. This is the Kashmiri musk grains. Uh, you can see over here inside it. These are small grains dark brownish kind of grains with some black uh, in it okay so 
so these are actually the grains you might find some hair of uh, that musk 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 pod into it when while they try to extract it they get some animal um, hair into it but you can remove them so this is actually the smell of musk grain from kashmiri musk i have tried to describe it as much as can it is almost impossible to describe this into words so i think i would just say two simple words the most fragrant smell that is mesmerizing is musk so i am going to signing off this video and we'll meet you in another video with some other natural oil smell i would try to describe as much i can for this musk grains till then take care bye bye and don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with your friends bye bye